Hi, my name's Josh, and today I'm going to be talking you through how to unbox and assemble your map for your blackjack. It should look something like this. All bikes provided with a multi-tool sufficient for most maintenance on the bike, and also a 3.5mm spoke key, useful for adjusting the tension on your wheels once they're bedded in. But for today's demonstration, I'll be using a set of cable cutters, a 15mm pedal spanner, a 4mm Allen key, which is used for the front brake lever, 5mm Allen key, which is used for the adjustment of the rear brake, and a 6mm Allen key, which is used to adjust the plate on the front of the stem. I'll also be using a 15mm spanner to tighten the front and rear wheels. The first thing you're going to want to do is open your box, um, which I advise you to do by hand to avoid any damage to any of the components on the inside. Now you've got your blackjack out of the box, you'll be able to see their fins are pretty secure and uh, packaged pretty well to protect it during transport. Today I'm using a bike stand um, and it makes it easier to assemble, although if you don't have one at home, it's not essential, so don't worry. First all you're going to need is a 6mm Allen key, so we can remove the faceplate of the stem and insert the bars. Once you remove the faceplate, if you want to put your bars back in the stem, then just check that your brake is on the left hand side, and then you can put the faceplate back on and you can do it with bolts. To finish tightening the bolts on your stem, you're going to want to use a cross formation to avoid uneven stress on the faceplate. Okay, the next thing we're going to be doing is attaching the seat. If you just want to make sure when you place it in the frame that it's at least to the minimum insertion line and then if you do a bolt on the right hand side. If you now want to grab your 15mm pedal spanner we can begin attaching the pedals to the cranks. If you just want to make sure that the L and the R marked on each pedal corresponds to the left and right side of the bike to avoid cross threading the cranks. Take care when tightening the left pedal as it is reverse threaded so it will tighten and clockwise. And finalising the tension on your pedal, you want to make sure you either use a 15mm pedal spanner or the 15mm tool provided. And you just want to make sure that it's nice and tall. Repeat the same process on the right hand pedal, but be sure to tighten clockwise. The next thing we're doing is mounting the front wheel into the forks. What I've done here is turn the bike upside down as it makes it easier to insert the wheel. If you just want to make sure when inserting the wheel that the washer retainers are placed Once inserted, tighten both the bolts on the front wheel using the 15mm spanner. One of these is provided with the bike. The next thing you're going to want to do is set up the rear disc brake, of which first you're going to want to adjust the right hand brake pad using this bolt. For the best results, make sure that the pad is slightly touching the disc and adjust accordingly over time as the pad beds in. You're going to want to tighten the rear disc clamp and maybe pull it forward a little bit to ensure that the gyro sits as closely to the tab as possible. You can fine tune the tension of the lower cable using this adjuster here. To avoid any slack on the upper brake cable, you may wish to adjust the inner bolt on top of the forks. There is also an adjustment system attached to the hand brake lever as seen here. When testing your brake, please make sure that the gyro does not top out within the frame. This will ensure that your brake achieves its maximum potential. Now the bike's fully assembled, you may wish to just double check that all the pre-installed bolts tensions are correct. You may also wish to double check that your wheel is aligned correctly and that there is no play in the headset to avoid damage to the bearings. The final thing you need to do is pump up the tyres on the bike. You may wish to just check the PSI reading on the tyre to make sure you don't exceed the maximum pressure. My tyres are inflated, your bike's all ready to go. Thanks for watching and if you do have any problems feel free to contact any of our team.